In this video I'm going to show you how to add a lot of animations on your WordPress site with a couple of clicks. If you don't know what are the lot of animations then take a look at the screen right now. As you see the phone right here, this is uh, created with a lot of animations. It will auto play but I'm going to show you also how to add uh, lot of animations that will play only if you hover on it. For example as you see I'm hovering on the image and it animates. It's going to take only a couple of minutes to set it up, so if you're interested, then jump in. Now, first things first, we need to go to the dashboard, plugins, and add new. And now search for cadence blocks, this one here. If you don't know what is cadence blocks, then it's a Gothenburg blocks, which allows you to customize your site as you're doing it with a page builder. It has a bunch of blocks, row layout, gallery, form and so on. Also it has a lot of animation block. So install and activate it and then go to the pages, add new, give it a title for example test animation and now let's create a similar layout as I did here. First I'm gonna add a row layout to columns as a background, I'm going to set up this image here. It's going to be full width and aligned in the middle. Now I'm going to add a advanced heading block here with a text. Next I'm going to add a button. This one here. I'm going to set up the border background and border radius. Just a quick overview. And now let's move to the Lottie animation. In this column, I'm going to add a Lottie animation block, this one here. By default, it will add you a Word Plus logo as animations here. But on the right, you'll see that you can choose a file source, whether it's from remote URL or local file. I'm going to show you both today. Next. You can add the area label, you can show the controls below here, these controls, I'm not going to show them. You can set it to auto play or only play on hover, as you see if I'm hovering on the animation it will animate. Also you can set it up to only play on page scroll, the explanation is down below here. First time I'm going to set it to auto play and now playback speed. You can set how fast it will animate, really fast or really slow, as you like. If you would like to loop the playback, then activate this and you can set the delay between the loops. For example, three seconds between the loop. If this uh, animation ends, now it takes three seconds for it to loop again. If I would like to limit the loops, then maybe I will set it to three so it will loop only three times and then it stops. Next, size controls, padding, margin and max width, I'm going to set it to 350 pixels. And now if I publish a page and preview it, then there it is. I'm going to tweak a bit my heading here, set it to center and that 60 pixels top padding. And now let's take a look how to change the animation on a Lottie block here. Go to lottiefiles.com and search for animation, for example, phone. Find the one you like the most. There are a bunch of them here, but pay attention that in order to download them, you have to log in. So I'm going to log in with my Google account. And now after I have logged in, I'm going to search once again for phone. So this one here. I like, I'm going to click on it and now two ways for me to add it on my site. First, I'm going to copy this URL here and I'm going to paste this in the Lottie animation URL box here. Pay attention that the file source is remote URL that should be selected. So now if I update it and refresh it and preview it, then there you go. Here it is. Now let's take a look how to add the Lottie animation with a local file. So 
I'm gonna choose some random rocket here. I'm gonna download the Lotti JSON file. Next, as a file source, I'm gonna choose the local file. Now I'm gonna upload the file. Let's browse it. This rocket here. Next, don't forget to add the animation title. For example, Rocket 2. Now click on Upload. And there it is. I can click on it and configure it as I did before. For example, max width, 450 pixels or 550 pixels and so on. If I update it and refresh the page, there it is. Now in order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to show you how to create the other row or sections here. I'm just going to show you that I added the Loti file here. Choose only play on hover. Playback is on loop playback speed one second and if I update it and view the page and there you go there it is if I hover on it it will animate if I move the cursor away then nothing happens and once again now it animates if you're not familiar with a lot of files then take a look you can also customize the background color edit layer colors here and so on but I'm not gonna show this in this video because you can do it by yourself now let's test out that the Lottie files will affect your site speed and I'm gonna do it in two ways first with a remote URL file and, ex and second with a local file so at the moment the remote URL is selected so let's refresh the page and now I have a Chrome extension called performance analyzer installed so let's take a look as you see we have 50 requests, loading time is a bit less than one second, time to first byte 639 milliseconds and now let's see, as you see we have a lot of files here, this one here. As you see it adds two requests and 21 milliseconds. Let's refresh once again. Now there is 51 requests and once again let's take a look at the Lotti files. 9 milliseconds, 2 requests. Okay, now let's change it for the local file here. I'm going to update, hard refresh. And as you see the loading time is basically the same. Time to first byte is a bit faster, but there are no Lotti file requests here. So basically one to two requests less for my browser to handle. Let's test once again because we did two tests with the remote URL. Now 49 requests, time to first byte, total, but there is no Loti file requests here. So all this doesn't seem so bad, but pay attention that this happens only with one Loti animation on a page. But what happens if you add them more? For example, I have two animations here. Both of them are external URL based. So I'm going to refresh it and open up the analyzer. Let's see. So 54 requests and take a look. Now Lotti file adds four requests and 40 milliseconds. I'm going to just quickly duplicate this two times. One and two update. Now I have four animations here. Let's see how does this impact our site speed. And now as you see, eight requests. The more you add it, the more external animations you add, the more it will impact your site speed. Now what I would suggest you to do though, is that instead of using the remote URL option, use the local file option. This way you don't depend on the external URLs and the site loads a bit faster. And keeping your site as fast as possible is one of the essential things you would have to do with your site. I have made a video about the 16 most common mistakes that users do with a WordPress. So if you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now and see the video.